an almost 800% increase in skin cancer. Now, that's what people experience after they had an organ transplant. And this is according to a study published in JAMA Dermatology. And this is very understandable when we think of what do people get besides the organ transplant in this kind of procedure. They get immunosuppressive drugs. These are medications that suppress the immune system. And that's, of course, necessary because otherwise the organ would be rejected because your body is actually very good at finding out what's your own cells and what are foreign cells. And foreign cells get attacked and rejected unless we suppress the immune response. And this is kind of highlighting, in my opinion, how valuable a healthy functioning immune system is in the prevention of cancer. And it's not just for skin cancer. This is one thing that was studied here, of course. But when we think of um, cancer in general, it arises at a later age, usually because the immune system is driving itself down. If you think of diseases like HIV, if HIV remains untreated, at some point the person experiences AIDS, which is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. And that is when the immune system is very, very low. And this is something that's usually measured. At that point, it's called AIDS. And what is the number one reason for these people to die is actually infections, infections and cancer. And those are then, of course, proliferating because the immune system cannot fight them off. So again, the immune system is not only there to fight off viruses and bacteria and kind of all these kinds of infections, but also to weed out bad cells in your body, which includes cancer cells. And that's a very important point. So I think the study was very interesting in that, that it's, uh, it's quite profound how these effects are happening when we artificially, and in this case, unfortunately, under necessary conditions, suppress the immune system. But for the general population, I think the message should be we should really take care of our immune system. We should make sure we have optimized levels of vitamin D3, should take D3, K2, zinc, magnesium, of course, I keep preaching those. But also besides that, being more active, being outside, getting sunlight, that's actually also very important. This can increase melatonin in your cells. And besides that, being more healthy in general and losing weight and optimizing your body fat percentage.